Well, praise God. Welcome to Daily Victory. I'm Pastor Joanne Wooten, and I'm excited about sharing the Word of God with you today. Now, as you may know, or if you're just coming on for the first time, this month here at Victory, we've been celebrating um, the month of gratitude and thanksgiving unto our Father. And so today, um, um, there are many ways, I've said that in, in the previous broadcast, uh, that people will uh, share their, their heart of gratitude and thanksgiving with the Lord. And one of the ways that I love to do is I love to sing, that's number one. And number two, I love to do praise and worship before the Father. So I like to sing. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to share some lyrics of, of some songs that I sing to the Lord with you. One, uh, the song is called, I Stand in All of You. And it says, you are beautiful beyond description, too marvelous for words, too wonderful for comprehension, like nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp, who can fathom your infinite wisdom? Who can measure the depth of your love. You are beautiful beyond description. Majesty enthroned above. And the chorus says, I die stand, I stand in all of you. I stand, I stand in all of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand in all of you. And then verse two says, you are beautiful beyond description. Yet God crushed you for my sin in agony and deep affliction, cut off that I might enter in. Who can grasp such tender compassion? Who can fathom this mercy so free? You are beautiful beyond description. Lamb of God who died for me. And I stand, I stand in all of you. I stand, I stand in all of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand in all of you. You are beautiful beyond description. Oh, wow. That takes my breath away. When you ponder how beautiful God is, when you ponder how beautiful our Father is, when you ponder how beautiful our Daddy God is, words, it takes my breath away. Too marvelous for words. We don't have words to magnify God. We have to go to the Word of God that gives us the Word to glorify, to magnify, to exalt his holy name. We did not come up with words. God gave us words to magnify him, to glorify him, to bless him, to bless others, to say what his word says about us. Wow. You're too wonderful comprehension. We accept all that he has said because we are limited in our comprehension of who God is. So we need his word to give back to his word, to give back to him who is the word, to glorify him, to thank him, to magnify him. We have to say his words, the word of God, back to him. He's like nothing we've ever seen or heard. Do we know of any comparison that, can compare, that, can, that we can compare to our God? There is no one like him. Wow. Who can grasp his infinite wisdom? Who counsels God? The word of God says when he needed someone to agree with him, there was no one to agree with him. So he agreed with himself. Ha ha. He agreed with himself. Who can fathom his infinite wisdom? He is the God of all wisdom. See, these are things we're thankful for when we know him. This is things we're grateful for. Who can measure the depth of his love? How deep is the ocean? The ocean is bigger than the sea. 
Who can measure the depth of his love? He's beautiful beyond description, majesty enthroned above. See, he's majestic. So when you come in, well, she's not the queen of England now, but we, we, when you were coming to the presence of the queen of England, there is a protocol to approach her. There's a protocol to approach our president of the United States. So if we give man that kind of respect, then we don't approach our holy God, our Abba Father, our Daddy God, the great I am. We don't approach him any kind of way. There's a way to enter into his presence. So we stand in awe of it. And sometimes when I am in that presence of the Lord, I can't stand. I can't speak. I'm caught up because I'm in his presence. And when you're in his presence, sometimes words aren't even necessary because it's heart to heart. And sometimes I can't stand. I literally am on the ground because of the awesomeness of God. Because in his presence, it's holy ground, no matter where you are. When you're in his presence, the ground is holy. Holy God to whom all praise is due. Sinless God. The epitome of holiness. I stand in awe of you. You are beautiful beyond description. See, this is a personal relationship. Only you can personally tell God how much you are grateful for him. Only you can personally tell God how much you love him. Only you can tell God how thankful you are for what he has done and what he will do for you. Only you. No one can speak for you. Hallelujah. Yet God crushed you for my sin. Who was it? He crushed his son, Jesus. John 3, 16, 17 tells us he sent his only son into the, into the earth to redeem man. In agony and deep affliction, where was that at? On the cross. Cut off that I might enter in. He was cut off from God so that I might be entered in through salvation and to have eternal life with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Who can grasp, who can understand such tender compassion? Who can really understand the love of God? You have to accept his love. Who can fathom his, this mercy so free? His hesed love. You are beautiful, Lord, beyond description. Lamb of God who died for me. And not only just died for me, he died for the whole world. Every single person on the planet, those yet even to be born, Jesus Christ died for them, that they might have eternal life with God the Father. They would not be cut off from him with eternal damnation. So as we're giving gratitude and thankfulness for God, don't forget to tell others about your father God, about your daddy God, about your Abba, your Abba Father. We don't want to keep this good news to ourselves. We want to tell others about the goodness of God. So they can stand. They can stand in awe of him. Holy God to whom all praise is due. I stand in gratefulness. I stand and thanksgiving to you for who you are in my life. Hallelujah. So as we close out today, blessings, I want to invite you to donate on our website, victoryexperience.com, or text donate at this number, 302-324-5400. And so after this, to join us on the call after this broadcast, in the United States, you can call us at 302-561-6767. And in Canada, you can call us at 709-500-6767. Once again, in the United States, 302-561-6767. And Canada, 709-500-6767. And please share this on your broadcast or please share this broadcast on your social media. God bless you and have a blessed day.